Guys, this is what happens before the competition begins. All of the riders walking the course for the eventing, jumping, just getting out their paces. I think that's what they're doing. Let me go just double check. Can I bump in on you guys? Hi, Louise, how are you? Hi, good, good, I'm good. <laughs> How's the walk going? Good, so far good. Uh, it's exciting, it's uh, big enough, so. Is this a nerve wracking part of the event, the, the, the pacing out? Ah, well, it's always the same. It's always very exciting and um, yeah, to see how the horses jump the day after cross country. Now we have two days after cross country, so it's even more different than normally. Does it help? Is it an advantage or disadvantage? Well, I don't know. We'll see later how the horses do this. I'm with Tom McEwen of Great Britain. Tom, can you walk us through some of the course? Yeah, of course, yeah, no problem at all. What do you think uh, of it? Yeah, it looks a good strong tack. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the time rise like. Uh, we're lucky to be going a little bit later in the competition, so yeah, looking forward to it. Are you uh, happy with uh, being able to have that day off? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same for everyone, so it makes no difference really. You just gotta focus on what you're doing and carry on really. But you got the, the horses at least got a little bit of a chance to rest up. That surely can be an advantage for everybody. Yeah, of course, but it can also be a disadvantage. Um, like if we're going for a long run or doing a bit of tough mudder or something, um, sometimes it hits you a day or two later. But um, yeah, our horses are feeling really good, so looking forward to it today. Can you tell me so about some of these jumps? Yeah, of course. So um, it's got one treble in it and one double. Um, a few turnbacks. Um, it's a good course, like, so from two to three, it's a, it's a good old long distance um, to fence three. I recognize this lady. Holly, do you mind if I jump in with you? Sure. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, are you excited? I'm super excited. Yeah? Yeah. And, uh, what, how do you feel right now at this point in the competition? Uh, I feel good. Um, I had a really good cross country go and um, it was nice having a little extra day off, <laughs> you know, for the horses and um, all of our teams come out looking looking strong this morning. Um, what uh, what interests you uh, with this course? Uh, it's it's beautiful. One, it's in a really big arena, um, so there's not so many tight turns, um, so it's going to give your horses time to gallop on and get going, but that's also going to set them up to get long and flat so it's gonna be the riders job to kind of put them together and get them organized again your job right now is to pace us out can we pace a jump out with you uh yeah we can walk from so this is called the liverpool yep. um with the water tray underneath it and you can see how there's more behind it mm -hmm. um whereas so when the course designer designs this he can either pull it out more and give the horses more of a ground line which will give them a better shape over the jump but because it's pushed back it's gonna be our responsibility not to get them too close to this so they don't hit it okay let's walk over this and then tell me what you'd be thinking with the horse right now um, because on the way out, it's a very vertical fence, you're going to want your horse to land and be in a good shape and a good rhythm. You don't want them landing and like going strong and against you. And because it is tall, um, with our body, we're going to want to be really tall with it. So it'll allow the horse's shoulders to come up and around. Do you remember how to walk strides? <laughs> Teach me again? Yeah. Okay, it's kind of like skating down the ice. Okay. Okay. So every step we take is three feet, and yep. a horse's stride is 12 feet. So how many steps do you need to take to make 12? Four. Very good. So one, two, one, two, three, four. 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 Okay. So every four strides. This everyone counts strides differently, yep. but every four strides. Um, I put a finger down. So at the end, um, I lift a finger up and that's how many strides it is. So this is going to be five strides, but because we got here quite easy, yeah. do you think that's going to be short or long? Short. Okay. Yeah. So what do we need to do? I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you <laughs> whoa. Yeah. You okay. Whoa. Right. whoa, whoa down. So of course they're going to jump big over, you're learning, you're learning. Of course they're going to jump big over that. So they're, you're going to see the riders take a little tug on the reins and set the horses back. Cause these are these blocks, even if the blue one comes down, yeah. that's a four fault. So they can't, they cannot lower the fence okay. at all down well, to it. Don't get any faults. Okay. Have a great run. All and right. thank you so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> that's walking the course.